Welcome to night. Mm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to this damn crazy house with me, your minister of soul, Khadija. Um, I'm making a rebuttal uh, or answer because I heard a comment from one of the creators. And, you know, I don't like to go on people's page and, uh, you know, say disparately remarks. I try to refrain from trolling. I guess that's what they call it. However, I'm a troll. And this particular uh, video, um, and I listen to the 5150 show when I can. I, However, I, you know, lately I haven't kept my eyes or ears tuned in like in days of the past. However... This guy says something about, and his name was Powerful Media, I guess is what it is, that Corey Holcomb keeps it real about kids who, um, why why many kids don't like their daddy, okay? And I thought it was kind of funny because, you know, y'all know Corey crazy. And whenever I miss my cousins from Chicago or they right down the street, if I can't get to them, you know, it's just a Midwest feel, okay? So when I watch Corey, that's exactly what it is. Um, but this guy that did this video from Corey, of course, that he co-signed what Corey said, I just want to say this to y'all. You know, I'm just going to show you just how many young people or how many people in general grew up without a father in their house every day, <laughs> Because most of us who grew up with two parents, we don't feel that way. If we don't like our daddy, it's because we don't like our daddy. Okay? Um, there have been times where we have gone to our mom and been like, help us get away from this. <laughs> and she turned her back or didn't say a word because that was her husband. Okay, and especially in a religious household. I mean, my parents were married, what, 36 something years, something like that. The point I'm trying to make is um, whether the parent, the father was doing crazy stuff like uh, Joe Jackson or um, uh, uh, Robert DeBarge, but they were in the house with their kids. And that still make a difference. So you saw the crazy every day. And uncrazy every day. So for those of y'all who grew up without a father in the house and you only had your mama having a boyfriend or he came by whenever they hit it and then you think that uh, the kid's just happy, oh, they go my daddy. You know what? That's really a sad commentary. And that's what hurts me because I remember when I lived uh, in this uh place and it had a, a down a duplex and I had a downstairs neighbor that had a lot of kids okay she had a lot of kids but to her credit you know they were pretty uh, well trained from what I saw and the only thing I found sad about the whole family well she had a lot of little young kids um i think under like maybe 12 and and it was like maybe five of them and every time somebody will come to visit me especially the boys they will run to the guy and they will go are you my daddy or they'll go to my friends are you my daddy are you my daddy i'm like what the <laughs> my what the? I had, I had never seen nothing like this. And so my friends would be like, what? Uh, am I your daddy? Oh, no, no, man, I ain't your daddy. Or, you know, however they would answer. Most of the time I would, I would come down into these conversations where they would accost 
you know, my buddies or my friends or whatever. They would accost my men friends to ask them, were they their daddies? Now, that has got to be some crazy, nut, nutty stuff to grow up like that. And to me, for those people that say stuff like that, that because you got a bad impression of your daddy, it came from your mama. Well, I want to disagree with you wholeheartedly, and I want you to know that that's probably if you didn't have, was wasn't raised with your father. Your father uh, was like a Nick Cannon type of thing. <laughs> I mean, because most of us who shared the household with our fathers, we don't feel that way. Not At least not the majority of them that I talk to, and I know. We were like, ooh, he be a bit much, ain't he? And you know you can't tell mama because she ain't going to do nothing, so we would just talk about him amongst ourselves or whatever. Okay? It ain't have nothing to do with my mama. If anything, we'd be mad at her because she wouldn't co-sign us. And a lot of times she knew it, but she would say, well, that's your father. And she'd be like, what does that have to do with anything? The dude is crazy or he's cruel or whatever. Okay. Anyway, I just thought I want to say that because a lot of y'all use that as an excuse. And I want Corey Holcomb and powerful media, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to you brothers. I'm just saying, I didn't come from the generation where there wasn't two parents in the house. Okay, so what happens when you say stuff like that, it further lets me know how many kids, individuals, were grew up without a father. Okay? So, you know, and that's not to say anything disparaging. Okay, my uh, daughter's father is, is deceased. So she wasn't raised with a father. Um, and I'm sure uh, a lot of that also has a lot to do with just how, um, you know, our relationship was or, th or lack thereof. So... And that's because my our childhoods shape our experiences. So I just think it's important to know that a lot of times people don't want to go through that again or even be put in a position. And then there's some people who brainwash to think that this is where you're supposed to live. So you're not living your life, you're living their life. Okay? So... That's just 100% not true. If a kid doesn't like his daddy, it doesn't mean it came from the mother. It could come from your low down, disrespectful, not knowing how to act in front of your children, um, stepping and crushing their dreams and their emotions and all those other things. That's what it means. Okay? So, you can get mad if you want to. But I'll see you in the next video. I don't know. Let me hear some of y'all comments. Especially those of y'all who was raised, you know, in a single house. Because quite the contrary, there's a difference. I'll see you in the next video.